Hi everybody, this is Jim Laverde with This Old Coach, Everything RV. And today, uh, we are going to be showing you how to put a backsplash in behind your sink. A little step-by-step -step, uh, instructions. And um, it took me about, uh, I don't know, three or four days to do the whole thing. I did more full days on it, but. Um, and so I just uh, wanted to make this RV to feel more like home instead of ugly RV interior, you know what I mean? So um, anyway, it's been about a year since I posted anything and um, I've gotten a lot of good responses uh, from the other videos like, uh, you know, 10 tips for, uh, what, you know, what to look out for when you're buying an RV. And I appreciate all the positive comments and um, please subscribe to the channel and um, I'm going to be doing many more of these uh, videos. One is going to be on your roof uh, maintenance and um you know putting lap sealer down and um and making sure that your roof isn't leaking and i got a few other ideas as well and um but anyway so um let's get to it okay well before we get started i just wanted to demonstrate this tile to you i got this at home depot for about a dollar 95 or something like that per sheet maybe it was 2.95 but it was fairly inexpensive i think i used like 20 sheets <clears throat> and this is uh, pretty good. It's sticky back. And uh, and so when I had to come in and cut individual pieces, you can cut you can cut this right down the seam right here, and this will come off pretty easy. And, um, and, you know, so you can, you know, cut, like, individual squares out as well for making, like, you know, fine adjustment cuts or whatever. And I, I like it because there's, like, these little finger pieces right here different colors that you can sort through and anyway so see here's here's some of the the tools i was using uh, a pair of uh, uh, wire cutters a screwdriver scissors a little a little miniature file right here that helped uh, you know to get into the fine grooves if you have to make any fine cuts i also used a utility knife an angle grinder which uh the angle grinder was great because i was able to sand down some of the edges on some of these and, and make rounded cuts it's really nice because you can just draw a line and then cut right up the tile and it makes a nice uh nice even cut i also used a chop saw with a brand new blade and uh anyway without further ado we'll get into the project Hi everyone jim with this little coach everything rv and uh i've started a project i'm going to begin renovating the inside of this rv uh but my first uh, little thing is is that i've uh, what i've done is i'm I've pried these mirrors loose. They're kind of old ratty mirrors. Uh, they've been around for a long time. I kind of don't like them anyway. I was able to uh, get these mirrors off. If you have them, be very careful. I used a putty knife and a hammer and I was able just to, you know, get the liquid nails off and popped it off very gently. And you can see that it comes off, but uh, I had already, <laughs> already pre-took it off and and took the uh no oh, the glue out of there and i got this one off as well and that's what it looks like so basically as we begin starting this project uh if you have any wall decorations or whatever it all has to come off and then this has to be smoothed down and cleaned any little tape lip or residue left over you have to uh you got to take that off so it's nice and smooth and i'll show you what i found i, I found these uh little vinyl tiles that look pretty good and that's kind of going to go with the decor of the rest of uh, the RV as this is all going to be replaced with hardwoods or uh, laminate floor. So that's the beginning and I'll show you as we're going. All right as you can see I started putting this on and I've already made a little bit of an error. These pieces for some reason come like staggered like this. And so basically what I've done is I've gone on the back and I bent it a little bit in and made a cut right there so that so that they go on uh, even. I don't know why they staggered them. It's beyond me. But anyway, so that's as far as I've gotten so far. And it's been fairly easy so far. Okay, so um, I ran out of tile. I have to go back and get more. But... Um, I feel like I've made a little error in what I was doing. And so all of these can be, you can cut them from the back, from the backside, 
and make different patterns. And where I feel like I made my mistake was I cut them in half and I put them side by side, uh, you know, right on top of each other. And I felt like I should have staggered them instead of making the line straight right there. So in case you're gonna be doing this, what I would do is, it was, is that I would cut them. I, you, you can use a miter saw to cut or a chop saw to cut them, but I wish I would have staggered these. And these are already glued to the, uh, to the wall and I don't wanna pull them all the way back out. So that would be my only little, uh, feel like a, a mistake, but, but you know, when you come back and look at it, it's gonna turn out awesome. So uh, excited to get this done. You can see my progress. What I decided to do is I'm taking this window piece off right here so I can put the tile up under the underneath it and it'll, I think it'll give it a nice clean uh, look to it. I'm gonna run the tile up underneath here, pull that back and then screw it down when I'm done. So uh, yeah, that's what I'm doing. Okay, well this is my progress on my backsplash I've been working on all day. And I found a friend told me to get something that I never thought about, but uh, an angle grinder with a diamond bit on it. And it helps you to uh, go around corners and it doesn't break off. I also bought a, uh, I have a chop saw that's really been helpful. And I bought a diamond bit for that too, that uh, has been just going through this masonry uh, tile. But um, it's working good and uh, I'm gonna keep going on. Like I said, I, was, I, I took the uh, window frame off and I was able to get the pieces um, beyond the window frame into here. And, uh, and it looks really good. I still have to finish up there though. And um, so, and you can see that, you know, I had to cut little tiny pieces under there, but it really, you know, I'm, I'm surprised on how good it's coming out. It's not that hard, it is time consuming. And, um, and so what I did was I ran it up. And if you saw the earlier clip, I mean, I only had it like tiled to here. Can't see my hand here. So what I'm gonna do with this, and this might give you a few good ideas, is I'm gonna take a carpet threshold. It's made out of metal. And I'm gonna put it over here because my, my edges are not that straight. <laughs> and um, and I, my walls are, are crooked as well. So I thought that the only way I could make it look seamless is to put this piece of threshold and I'm going to run it all the way down. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put, uh, I'm going to put the tile, I'm going to run it all the way down to the ground and, uh, and then that threshold will cover it covered up. And I think it's going to look really nice. So that's my progress. And, uh, I hope you guys are enjoying, enjoying this and I'm going to show you the finished product when I'm done. All right. Talk to you later. All right. So this is the piece of trim that I picked out and it's just kind of like a pewter color. And it's gonna go in pretty simple, like this. And I'm just gonna screw it in with screw holes. It kind of makes, that's a little dirt mark. Don't judge me. <laughs> anyway, so uh, so that is gonna make a nice line and, uh, and take away all my bad cuts. So there it is. Okay, everybody. So this is the finished product. I, uh, last little step is I put the uh, little trim piece in and as you can see I think it came out pretty darn good um, I'm happy with it uh, it took me a few days to to get everything um, all cut and it looks like I forgot a piece oh no that's just one little piece I got to put in tomorrow so but um, so I did this project for about 200 bucks and uh, I found a really good deal at Home Depot on this on this slate tile. Um, I think I paid like a $1.95 a sheet and I think I used maybe 20 sheets or something like that for the whole thing. And you know, I got all the way down in there and I'm pretty happy with it. And so this is definitely a do-it-yourself project and um, with a little time and a couple of good tools, you can uh, really make your RV um, look and feel like a home instead of an RV. 
I think what I'm going to probably wind up doing is I may take that same slate and put it on that wall and then that mirror right there taking all that down and uh, I'm going to put a map of the United States I think right there and uh, and anyway so thank you for watching uh, please subscribe to my channel and uh, and we'll be definitely doing more videos heading your way so um, Jim Laverty with This Old Coach Everything RV thank you for watching this video God bless you have a great day bye bye